glad to have you here with me for the opening day of the first playoff bracket of the fall open of 22-23. So what do you think is going to happen here? Version 1, Gen G. Version 1 had a pretty decent uh, schedule yesterday in terms of who they had to play, but Gen G, maybe not so surprising, but uh, a pretty clean run yesterday. You know, I got to say, for me, it is surprising that they came out in the number three seed. You know, brand new team, two of these members going across the pond, like they mentioned on the desk. And to come into North America where the competition was so stout and to already make a statement says a lot for me, at least. But right now they're going up against version one who last season were so successful and so consistent and Achieves, I don't know about you. I am so glad that they stuck together. Too many times we see teams not find the quote unquote success that they think they should have and split up. Not this team. They realize we're on the long haul. Well, Kong going to be taking the ball around the side. Chronic to delay and Gen G currently trying to figure out their way through on defense. Pass to Chronic. Torment with a great save off the backboard. Calm kind of tied up on the back wall, so Beast Mode going to buy him a little bit of time. Snapjack just keeping the pressure up with the boost steal and hoping Nolly can yes. find a way forward. Calm able to dodge a couple of demos, and Chronic really aggressive there as the third man. Seeing if he can find a way to break through that V1 defense. They had a pretty decent matchup against FaZe yesterday. Went all the way to five, and it's a good reason that V1 Felt pretty good. Gaz said it. They didn't really make too much of a roster move. He would definitely make a case for them ending up in the top five as Chronic having to dodge a demo. Big save. Beast Mode pressing him hard. And Nolly had an excellent showing at a couple of live events last season. Seeing if he can continue on at the start in the new region. It's Calm pressuring the goal line. Beast Mode looking for some options in the midfield. Forced to just punt it across. Calm to buy some time as Chronic. Needs a little bit of help from his teammates. Nolly forced to pump it as well. And Genji kind of struggling to make sure that they hold on to possession. As Beast Mode, nice clean air dribble. Chronic. Going to give Nolly a nice clean line at it. Torment, you got to make sure you put this one in the right spot. Have to hit the double tap just to buy a little extra time. And it will be effective as Beast Mode continuing to press around the corner. Looking for a little bit of help. Torment, little stutter step in it. Not quite able to get through Nolly. Calm actually going to let that one roll for a second. Maybe give Beast Mode a cleaner line at it. Unfortunately, Nolly adjusting well. As Gen G finally getting their feet set on them here in the midfield. They win a couple of challenges. They may be able to sting, string something together, but that demo can kill all of that. Beast Mode has to buy a lot of time here. Nice read off the ceiling, Nolly. Trap is the right move. Got to try and force possession in your favor. Apparently, Jack giving a lot of ground and hello, Torment. Going to give him a Big tap on the wall, clear up to Appjack. Can he score it? Beast Mode not going to give him op an opportunity. Beast Mode performing very well in the past couple of days in their qualifying matches as well yesterday. And Gen G finally really starting to get some offense going as Beast Mode making another save here. So, yeah, my apologies on that, Achieves. And I wouldn't be start of the season without having some tech issues, but <laughs> hopefully I'm back loud, crisp and clear. And I've been keeping an eye on this game and it's been very impressive at how both teams just continue to go back and forth, jockeying for position in midfield. And I I'm really impressed with the play that we're seeing from Chronic. He's coming into this and showing no fear in his eyes, especially going up against the likes of version one. A lot of physicality on version one as well, forcing a lot of adjustment from Gen G. As Beast Mode trying to trap this one in the corner, he's going to lose out against two people. Apparently, Jack now solo approach against three defenders. Can't find a piece of calm on the backboard. And it should be an easy clear. Sonic as well going to get stuffed out. Nolly hoping to take it across his net. Calm wisely into his own back corner, taking it away from Gen G. 50 seconds. No one able to crack the net. Shots actually coming at a decent premium. Oh, nice play. And that's a beautiful pass indeed, but probably the one you probably needed to score if you wanted to win in regulation. Not too many opportunities actually on net here. Yeah, and I don't feel like it was one too many touches. It was just a great all-involved passing play there, but um, just a little off the mark. Couldn't quite tuck it inside the bars. Chronic big swing and a miss here in version one. They don't look to break out of their own half, and apparently Jack gets a piece of calm. Here comes Nolly, just keeping it alive, and awkward 
on that back wall, but here comes Tom, able to regain control, able to gain control of this ball. He's up off the ceiling, and no go here, and Achieves inching closer and closer Ooh. into overtime, but big fake on the ball, and Torment tucks it under the crossbar. They get one more look at it in the end of regulation. Nolly in the one on three. Calm just getting in his face, making it as difficult as possible. Chronic knew he had to try and cover up. You can't beat the Stone Cold veteran torment. Ever since he found himself in a position to put shots away, he doesn't miss too often. Delivers a big one there for version one. And unfortunately, no overtime possible for Gen G. Going to take it away with five seconds left. Beast Mode, Torment, and Calm controlling the ball nicely throughout most of game one, really forcing Gen G to come and take the ball away from him. Yeah, and I really love that fake that we saw there. Great communication from version one, and that's what you're going to see against one of these, or that's what you're going to see when you're Gen G, you know, brand new team, still figuring everything out. Obviously, Nolly and apparently Jack, tons of experience on their side, but version one, experience as a team is what matters here and just kind of knowing where each other are always going to be. You don't even have to chat in moments like that, but version one, success in the final five seconds and they get game number one. Yeah, great showing, Aquadome looming. And if you're looking over on Genji's side in terms of the adjustments, it's really quite simple. I mean, you, you know that version one was very focused on ball control there, so... You have a couple of different ways to go about that. You choose to be real aggressive, try and control a lot more boost, maybe give up some stronger in terms of uh, shot power or, or hit power in terms of the, the booming clears, and you maybe have to play a couple of balls over your shoulder, but you gain a little more map pressure. Or, of course, you try and pull the old South American approach and just dive at everything as fast as you possibly can and see <laughs> if you can make them sweat that way. So many tricks you can pull out of your sleeve, but... Right now, Gen G, they just need to focus on getting a goal. Game number one, only three shots on target. And for version one, when you've got a defender like Torment that is so comfortable up on that back wall, you've got to throw a lot on target to make him jump and make you respect, or make him respect you, rather. As apparently Jack looks for the pinch, well read by Beast Mode. Here comes Beast Mode, and it's the dunk. Calm can't quite get the touch, but pressure going to remain in favor of version one here. Oh, really nice job from Com as well. Stole the boost in the corner, boxed out. Apparently, Jack from getting a clear up onto the blue side and it's netted V1. An extra opportunity in there, cannibalizing all those corner boosts right now. Really struggling to get the ball actually into a scoreable position. So while they hold a lot of pressure, Genji doing an excellent job of moving the ball around the net and making it difficult for them to actually shoot one. As Beast Mode, a little floater towards the goal. And Apparently, Jack, maybe not the strongest clear that he would have liked, and that means another few opportunities for V1 here. In version 1, their offense just circling like sharks. It's almost impossible right now for Gen.G to get clear, and thankfully they get this ball into the blue half. Let's see if they can stay in any type of offense. My goodness, just bombs that ball downfield, and um, can't quite get the touch. Torment denied by that post as Gen.G might have gotten away with one there as the game remains all tied up. Old pass to Com straight down. Apparently, Jack in a great spot for it. Read it beautifully. Chronic stuck on the backboard. I thought for sure version one was going to come away with a goal somewhere along the line in that sequence. Unfortunately, just not able to get it in between the post. Apparently, Jack with a big win trying oh. to jam it near post and good save from Com, forcing him to go through the car, looking it out to safety. Just saw a little miscommunication there between Ab Jack and Nolly and like we were talking about achieves. We're going to see a few of those, at least in this first regional here mm -hmm. in the fall split as Chronic can't get the touch. I think Nolly got the shot on target. Might have pushed it just enough off target as Calm pushing downfield has Beast Mode to work with and Beast Mode goes for demo, but turns off at the last moment. Had he kept his head forward and looked for contact, I think maybe that might have been a goal for version one. I'm doing a nice job reading the challenges, positioning well. They're, they're definitely focused on not losing one on the version one side rather than trying to just straight win them. You don't want to maybe undershoot a ball or just get absolutely crushed on a challenge. Beast mode, both went out to the corner. Oh, nice, finally, Chronic. Genji, a chance, oh! and that one's off the bar. Chronic, can you put it away? Torment's already recovered on the backboard. I don't know if Chronic actually had a way to shoot that ball from where he was without taking another look at it, but that one's going to sting a little bit, but still a lot of time here in game two and finally a chance to wow. really press this version one defense. Yeah, and right now they're getting very aggressive. All three members bunched up in the same corner, but no punishment coming from version one is Beast Mode, just a snapshot on target. 
Final two minutes underway here in game number two. And yet again, all knotted up. You've got to be impressed with Gen G, how they're coming out. North America making a statement, making these games close. The great oh. clears Torment tries to hit Apjack with a changeup. See if he can catch him diving to the far post. And Family Jack didn't bite at all. Great poise on the goal line there and what felt like a surefire scoring spot for version one. Ali trying to steal away some boost. Apparently Jack on the back post and Torment's going to recover as well off the backboard. Beast Mode just going to launch this one away. They need the space and the time. Gen G really starting to come online. That's what I was talking about, Achieves. You got to fire shots on target, especially when Torment's sitting back there. He's seen pretty much everything in the game and you've got to do something tricky to get him to kind of bite on it. And already Gen G doubled the amount of shots here in game number two is Beast Mode forced to go up, push it into his own corner and Final 50 seconds here as Chronic trying to keep the pressure up for Gen G, but great stop there from Calm. Trying to get the offense going here for version one. Gen G definitely trying to control those midfield boosts, driving forward and will allow that uh -oh. press from Beast Mode and oh. the idea that they'll have more on transition here. Chronic to Nolly. Nolly needs to slow it down to no buy a little way. time. And apparently Jack didn't think he was going to get through for free, so he was playing a little bit tighter. Unfortunately, couldn't make the adjustment to actually shoot one. and. Version 1 get a little fortunate there that they missed the ball. For real, I didn't think Nolly had any shot at getting a touch there as Abjack another pass, Woo! and that shot on target. Great 1-2 combo play to get the goal late in game number two. Tom just following this transition back in his net. He saw it get through everybody, was like, oh boy, there's a lot to pick from here, and apparently Jack, perfect shot. 75 miles per hour, straight above his head into the top corner. No chance for Tom. Beautiful finish. And version one, gonna have to press hard with 10 seconds now. Force overtime and NG, no intention of letting a beast mode slow floater into the midfield, but Calm is there for support and they get oh, the bump, bump, but they don't really have too much boost. Torment tries to pound it off the wall and steal the corner. Unfortunately, I don't think version one quite has enough of the tank to get this counterattack done. They're gonna try everything they can now that they have to go the whole length of the nice. field and Nolly's gonna swat it to the floor. NG, wind it back up and get it going in game two. Impressive showing there from Gen G. Maybe a little bit of nerves on display, especially from Chronic, but he comes into this one, gets the MVP here in game number two. Tons of shots on target and gets the saves as well. Just marching up and down the field, north and south, east and west. And Gen G didn't outscore him by a ton, obviously, but man, they held pressure in that final half and really boxed in version one. Yeah, really good show, especially in the back half of that game. Initially, you're thinking, OK, here comes version one. They've really got this figured out uh, again here in game two. And you're wondering, man, what are you going to do? Uh, well, want a few more challenges, got a few more boost pads, made sure they're able to go and get the ball a little bit better. And it helps as well when you uh, win a nice clean challenge and you have apparently Jack placing the ball 75 miles per hour in the top corner. Pretty tough to keep that one out. So low scoring series headed into game three few more shots in game two. People may be finding more ways through the defense. But I'm not too sure who to favor in game three. Genji definitely got it going, but I felt like version one had a good thing going. It was just a product of circumstance. It's not like uh, it's a consistent outplay from Genji in game two. No, I agree. I think it's just, you know, the, the shakeup of game styles between games one and two when you've got an opponent that isn't really bringing anything as far as offense goes in the first game, and then they come out in game number two and just shot after shot after shot really shakes things up, but that's where you need to be successful if you want to be the best team in the world. And, you know, that's what we see from DDS so consistently is where game number one might take them, you know, a few minutes, but they download their opponents and they're just so well, so good at reading the game style, what their opponents are bringing and version one coming in here. And let's see if they're going to try and figure out Gen G is calm boxing them in. Great pass off that back wall. Mistake from Chronic. Didn't have the boost in Torment. Okay. Double tap. Can't find it, but Calm wow. denied by Nolly. Great defense there from Gen G. Liked the idea. Beast Mode trying to lay it into the net as well. And Torment, I think with his double tap approach, good ideas to go towards the backboard. And unfortunately for them, the follow up is not coming to fruition. Beast Mode tries what? to softly to throw him with off what? the rhythm. And unfortunately, Gen G refusing to let anything go. Huge defensive stand, racking up four saves in about 15 seconds. I mean, the first minute and version one already had six shots on target. Oh. And the first one for Gen G goes chronic. Nothing but money inside post. 
Tom kind of expecting Chronic to go up the wall there, so he gets stuck on the backboard. Tries his best to reposition, but he can't really dismount cleanly without allowing a shot, so he's hoping to play it from the wall, and unfortunately for him, Chronic figured out where the hole was, went straight for it. And Gen G survive an onslaught, and they only need one towards the other net to score. I mean, great counterattack. That's what you want to see. As Apjack gets that one, Torment turns it away. And version one, they've got the shots on target, but it, it just felt like there was a little bit of divine intervention on a lot of those saves from Gen G. It just <laughs> seemed like shot after shot, there was always someone there from Gen G just falling right in front of it. And it might not have been on purpose as Beast Mode has an open net, but Nolly, good recognition to get up and get a touch on that ball. Apparently Jack dodging the calm bump, bump, and now he wants the air dribble bump. Beast Mode, great recognition there to support his teammate in short order. Oh, he has to follow this one up with not a lot of support behind him, and apparently Jack to stall things out. Common Torment, I'm thinking, man, I wish we had a, a boost. bit more boost to handle yep, this. Yep. And Beast Mode going to wisely collect his corners. Thankfully, Chronic didn't really have a strong grip on that ball in the corner, but version one needing to find a clear. And what started is uh, not a particularly consistent outplay at the end of game two. It started to look more and more like a defensive blowout from version one. They're just starting to really get pressed here by Gen G. Yeah, Gen G doing a great job of stealing those corner boost pads and controlling midfield and not allowing version one to go out and even get those little dime pads because those shots are coming in. They're coming on target and forcing version one to respect those shots and stay up on that goal line as Chronic keeps this ball alive and no one there for the follow up in Torment. Just gonna launch down to beast mode. Can't get the touch and oh, Chronic great. up to Nolly. It's open and in. Great passing play to find the open net. It was a big race there. Beast mode hoping he could kill the ball or maybe hit it off the corner and Nolly. Great understanding and better pass from Chronic. That was with pace. You needed to be ready to go up and get it immediately if you wanted to score it. Nolly demonstrating the awareness and the execution, just beating out the third man and now version one find themselves in a tough spot. Two down, two minutes to go, and maybe a third one. Beast Mode gonna keep that out of the net, but version one, you need possession. Your back line just got demoed. Now Torment has to buy a ton of time. And Apjack, tons of space on this ball, enough to gather up a few boost pads and just boot this ball all the way downfield. And Beast Mode, that touch got away from him, and Torment has to go up, has to push it back towards midfield, and not sure if Chronic got bumped by Beast Mode there, but either way, Beast Mode was ready downfield and great outlet pass from Torment to find him and break up this offense from Gen G. This one's going to take a tough skip for Jack, but he's on it. He's got the flip reset towards the net. No and he's going to find the dunk. Apparently, Jack is going to turn in number three, and that'll put game three on ice. Oh, baby. Flip reset into a dunk on the goal line. Jack putting Beast Mode up on a poster. And Gen G feeling comfortable here in game number three. Not even a bad idea from Beast Mode. Pretty much his only clear line. Apparently Jack just managed to boost beautifully. <laughs> to stretch that one to number three and version one kind of scratching their heads. I mean, they were playing well yesterday. They're playing pretty well today. <laughs> Gen G, as some would say, just built different. And what Nolly will three? turn in number four. Okay. Well, we got a minute, Subi. What, what, let's hang out for a bit. I think this yeah, is good. I, I already finished off game three on my notes, but whatever. <laughs> but the read from Nolly, I mean, he was up a year ago to get that touch. Impressive display of mechanics from everyone on Gen G in this game. Everybody getting involved. And again, for me, it's got to be chronic. I understand he's not up there in terms of MVP, quote unquote, because of the score, but. He's got two assists, one goal, a save, two shots. He is just everywhere, fitting so well with this Gen G roster. Oh. Why not another one? <laughs> you know, it's not often that you can actually squeeze one by Torment when he's set in the net. He can see this one coming. He wheeled all the way back around, said, "All right, bring it, at Jack." <laughs> he said, "Okay, <laughs> save it if you can." Torment was so ready to defend the top, the back post, but not right in front of him. 66 miles an hour. Unfortunately for them, version one going to be put on. Oh, no, we're playing best of sevens today, so we got more. I, I almost thought we were doing best of fives again. <laughs> well, I mean, when you when you go back to the world championship and we had, what, 56, 57 uh, best of sevens throughout those uh, weeks or whatever, uh, and we had one game where it didn't matter if 
you know, that game five. What am I trying to say, Achieves? I don't know what words are, but <laughs> whoever won game five. Oh, what, yeah, what was yeah, it? Or yeah, game, yeah. their third game is, yeah, yeah. you know, essentially turning it into a very a high five. conversion yeah, percentage yeah, yeah. for the series. If they ended up winning their three out of uh, out of four games, then there it is. They there it is. Yeah. If they won game five, they would end up winning in either six or seven. But oh, uh, there yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. Anyway, version one. And one. Yeah. Wisely here, uh, they're going to take a timeout because uh, this one was the absolute smackdown. Uh, and I think it's it's good to figure out you got to change something because Nolly, apparently Jack and Chronic, they just ran everywhere they wanted, got all the boost, got the shots on target, and they're like, okay, let's take a moment here. And you don't see them on screen, but I guarantee you, Fireburner, well involved in this conversation also to try and figure out what is going wrong against Gen G because game number one, you did a great job at controlling the entire pitch it was it was more of a midfield battle but it seemed time and time again that version one was coming out of those 50 50s with success and games two and three just has not been the same story and for me it seems that gen g has forced version one to either play too spread apart or too bunched up they haven't found that goldilocks zone of where to be positionally as a team and gen g just continues to slice them and dice them yeah Definitely a good placement in terms of where they need to put the ball on the offense, give themselves options, and more importantly, time to cycle back through and grab boost and be ready. That's the bigger thing for me as well, apart from, you know, obviously forcing uh, version one to space themselves out, but they're doing a great job controlling the pace of the play and not just allowing the clear to come over their shoulder while they're not ready for it. So Gen G, I mean, you can see how they made it through in, uh, I believe it was four rounds, if my memory serves. Let's pull it up right quick. Yes. Yes. Four correct. rounds. Only one loss to FaZe Clan. But yep. apart from that, they went three overs in RG, three overs Dig, mm -hmm. three one versus Team Axel. And uh, that's uh, a lot of people in Europe are saying, yeah, we know we were better the whole time. Now we just have to take all your North American spots and show you why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, whatever makes it more interesting, right? Because I really felt like North America had more dangerous teams than Europe last season. I know, hot take, but whatever. You know, sue me on that one. I feel like North America, the depth is just getting ridiculous at this point, especially with all of the transfers that we've had. We have Furia coming over. We have Apple a Applejack. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently Jack and Nolly. But it's just so exciting in North America right now. And obviously Europe, dominant region right now they are on top they just won the world championship but for me i think it's just going to be so exciting this entire season watching north america well first minute here in game four gonna be quite important here for version one you take the time out you'd hope to at least see a small adjustment in terms of possession or how the game is playing itself out and currently they do hold a little bit of possession i think Tom just got that boost stolen though he picked it up in the midfield great read apparently jack pressing and torment great timing nolly looking for apparently jack and this is what we were talking about where in the last game oh, apparently it's jack would have been ready for that but this time it's a mistimed pass tom is able to jump all over it with Apjack giving the space right here as he goes and needs boost and tries to circle back around and Tom dots it in with a big pinch off the wall Cookster is proud across the pond as Calm comes out with that pinch and puts it on target. And just a little bit of confusion on the side of Gen G. Opportunity for Torment there. Can't quite get that ball. But you saw that pass over to Apjack from Nolly. And Apjack, he had no boost. And he just decided, eh, I'll just bail out instead. And it put him in no man's land and nobody home. And that's why that pinch was all able to find its way all the way downfield. Beast mode missing the bump opportunity on Nolly right there, but more importantly, making sure he secures his own corner boost on the way back. Not about to allow Genji and Yuki. <laughs> Chronic, he's not trying to do anything right now except buy time. Exactly. He needs to allow Nolly to go all the way back and get the boost. Oh, Apjack, no one there. And that shot a little too high off of the crossbar, and Genji finding the shots, but version one do a, doing a great job of defending the net it is calm. Forced into a snap save there. That was a tough shot to defend. Apparently Jack. Going to kind of manipulate Torment, oh, Torment into placing the ball towards the side where Chronic was waiting for it. Version 1 actually have a small opening here finally. And 
Tom really trying to secure the midfield uh, boost pads as well to prevent Jim oh, G no. from getting an abundance of it. Pass to apparently Jack Ooh. Foreman a few steps too far forward and can't cover the far post. Well, just not a great touch here from Calm. Just centers that ball perfectly, and the only one that can get it is Apjack. And Torment left on an island there. Not much you can do to defend that. And Gen G capitalized on the mistake from version one. Yeah. Can definitely understand the thought process from watching the replay Absolutely. again. Because the, the pass definitely intended to go to Torment. And it was unfortunately just a little too far away. And so he, rather than sit there and let, you know, some of the best players in the world take a free shot anywhere in his net. <laughs> Thinking we'll try and go get that one out of oh the way. My. Apparently, Jack is able to beat Beast Mode to the backboard. Beast Mode knew he had to go up there and get it off the bounce, Look, otherwise, he, gets he was getting scored on. He, well, I oh, saw Sparks geez. fly at least, but yeah, either got way, good. great control and great concentration to rattle that double tap in. And Abjack, he is feeling good in this series. He loves this uh, North American ping, I'll tell you what. Now, here's the important thing if you're version one. You, you can't get a, too flustered right here. Yeah, you got two scored on you in quick succession, but you got to keep the overall score line in mind. You still got half a game to play. You're right. only down one. You're really not in that bad of a spot, all things considered. It's more about oh. how the rest of the game plays itself out. It's that perspective and the mental toughness, the chain dash, dash from beast modes. And unfortunately, Chronic deep back preventing that score. Good idea, though. Oh, and a demo trade there from... Beast Mode and Nolly as Foreman flip reset over one Beast Mode and can't quite get the touch to go in. But great delay from Torment there to get that flick to keep the pressure on and Beast Mode forced to go up in the skies, race Nolly. Nolly comes out in favor of that 50-50 as Hapjack can't quite get the touch. Does get the boost deal, does get the ball, uh. and Chronic gets the shot in. Abjack is playing like a madman right now. Unfortunate for Torment here. I mean, apparently Jack, just a decent enough challenge. He's saying, don't let him clear it to the corner. Whatever else happens after that, I can try and influence. But if it gets to the corner, we're not scoring. So he just lifts the nose back. Says, come take it if you can. Unfortunately, no clear for version one. And now they have to score two with a minute 44. Nolly, no test for him. Easy plays. And that one a dozen times. Tom going to size up the defense here. Apparently Jack going to prevent the flip reset heading towards the backboard as version one definitely going to start trying to ramp things up. Beast Mode Torment going to have to go deep across the pitch to find a teammate. Tom is already cut off by apparently Jack, but can he get the pass back to oh, the wow. midfield? Gets it a little too soft, too close to the defense, and Torment playing tight in the midfield, hoping to keep the pressure up. Fortunately, the ball squeezes around him. Oh, demo on the back half. That actually favors Chronic. Puts him right back on the defensive half, and, and he get that clear <laughs> way downfield. I mean, just great heads up play, recognizing, okay, I got... Oh, Beast Mode couldn't quite get that one outside. If he goes far post on that, which is tough nice. to do. Oh, might have find success. And, and great read there from Abjack to break up that passing play. Absolutely. Didn't lose track of where the version one players were in the midfield. Understood he wasn't going to make the challenge, so he kind of just puts himself in the passing lane. And he won unable to make the adjustment. Chronic all over this one, covering up beautifully in the midfield, wasting even more time on the clock. Oh. Apparently Jack wants another demo. Chronic can't sink it. Either way, they still have the insurance lead in version one. Gonna be they kept out. I mean, if you don't score here, it's game over as that ball goes all the way downfield. Torment, slow plays that app even slower and Abjack and Nolly find success here, extend the lead. And you see the cool sip of water from Abjack as he puts version one on match point. They made some really really solid adjustments here in Gen G. I think version one had had a good idea. They're like, okay, let's go try and take away some more midfield boost. Let's prevent them from being in position so early. And Gen G immediately adapt to that. You know, that play where Chronic is just dribbling the ball on the sidewall at the start of the game sticks out to allow Nolly to go back and grab boost and Gen G come right back up the field and then they're in your face again. That ability to change pace of play on a dime. And then when they actually start getting pressed by version one, in the back half of this game four. Then they're able to insert themselves into the passing lanes, take away a couple of really nice shots, and 
if the only way version one scoring is with the the cooks your pinch from the sidewall you're in a pretty good spot yeah yeah I, I agree because that's such a low percentage shot right the times that that works is few and far between the times that it does not work and for version one timeout's already been taken so it, it's time to figure out what is Gen G doing to find success? And, and for me, Achieves, I don't know if you agree. I really feel like the difference here is speed. Right now, Gen G is just playing so much faster than version one. They're beating them to the ball. They're beating them to the positions and they're beating them to the boost pads, which I feel like is the most important factor in this game. Yeah, the uh, midfield and the, the corner boost whenever they get stolen, it's also been pretty big for whoever ends up being that. And speed, whether it be being generally faster than version one or in position or able to change pace of play when you need it to, to favor you. Oh, it definitely came out on top more than not. And unfortunately here at the start of game one, big flub from pretty much everybody. I think this was just a double commit. Yes, it was. There's Chronic and Nolly and apparently Jack's like, guys, please. I mean, great recognition from Torment there. And I'm sure his teammates were calling it out that it was wide open and free. and. Those are the hardest shots to hit in Rocket League when that net is wide open and your teammates are screaming at you that it's a free goal. I mean, being able to sink that one from midfield, great shot there from Torment and Gen G. Put on their heels for now, but as we saw in game number four, they can come back and score in bunches. Is that the spark that gets version one going back the other way? Beast mode to himself and Nolly wisely getting all the way on top of that ball. Didn't want to allow the touch up towards the backboard where his teammates were going to be kind of grounded and having to play defense up. Instead, choosing to drive it down towards his teammates. Chronic Great looking pass. for Nolly and unfortunately unable to get around it and put it on target. But Genji going to take a lot of map control here with Chronic challenging the ball expertly in the corners. Oh, great touch there from Beast mode. Get that one over Nolly is Chronic. Gonna push this towards midfield. Gets the touch over Calm. Here comes Nolly. Gets Ooh, the redirect and wow. on target. Version one, not expecting this one to go straight in. My goodness, what a touch here. Oh, and Nolly went and got that ball. He he was driving in towards Chronic and he had to kind of reach back with the nose and tip it back towards the net. Kind of over jumped it a little bit, but made the adjustment. Actually, it ended up paying off because it took a little bit off the shot and it ended up going under the defender. So Nolly, we get Gen G right back in this one tournament. Soft clear for beast mode and Gen G. Good effort to get things tied up, but version one certainly not out of it yet. Pressing here in the midfield. Yeah, tournament hunting for demos there and for version one. Honestly, that's what I want to see at this point. I realize it's a tie game. You don't want to send the full house and allow yourself to get counterattacked, especially off of a big clear. But where we've seen them have so much success, usually there's demos to back it up. And right now we've seen almost no aggression. And while you don't want to just be the, the team that only demos, you want to have that in your arsenal. You want to have that in your bag of tricks. And right now, either Gen G's just doing a great job at, at avoiding them or version one's just not really pushing forward too much. Gen G got a pretty good wall set up in the midfield immediately, however, broken down. Com finally able to win a challenge through that midfield line. Torment trying to stall things out, but does he have the mechanics to really turn it in? Nolly just kind of stared at him and said, you're gonna have to do better than that if you want to score. Com on his lonesome, denied by Nolly. Torment camped out on the backboard. Beast mode trying to figure out where he needs to be. Version one. Really not in bad spots, but they're definitely going to struggle clearing the ball effectively here. And that's what you were talking about, Subi. They kind of get them all to bunch up there on oh, that left baby. side and they oh. find a gap. And unfortunately, it's just going to pop off the wall. Oh, one of my favorite things in Rocket League is beautiful passing plays. And that was one that developed there. Another one almost, but version one doing a great job at defending their own net. But again, starting to have a little bit of boost issues. Only Torment has some in the tank right now. Beast mode. Just trying to keep this thing out. Abject, oh my gosh, what a redirect. What a read. And the ability to get that ball, not only on target, but just to be able to snap touch that impressive young man. Uh, oh, and he got bumped. I was wondering why Torment couldn't go and get that. Someone from Gen G came over his shoulder, just Goomba stomped him, tipped the tires on his head and stopped oh. him from going up and taking that one out. 
I didn't see that. That oh, Goomba getting Goomba Stomp is one of the worst feelings in Rocket League because it's like, no, I, I promise I tried to jump and you're just stuck <laughs> on the ground, wheels just in cement. I would have made it if it weren't for those meddling kids. There it is. Oh, but Torment gonna put it on the back post, tying things up. Version one, get real aggressive there in the corner, and Torment says, "Cool, nice pass, Nolly. I'll take it." I mean, he's just sitting at the top of the box, poaching, and great shot placement there from the veteran, going far post and rattling it in, and keeping this ball game all tied up, not allowing Gen G to get comfortable with that lead. Oh, Torment had a chance there. Don't know if he could have actually placed it. He really was just trying to keep the ball there, and if it happened to go in, good. Fortunately, Gen G kind of getting stalled out in the challenges, the midfield line, but apparently Jack has been able to recover. Nolly has to give this one up. Calm is pressing quick because they've noticed how quickly Chronic gets to the ball. Kind of puts the ball in an awkward spot, and that's what we're talking about, that change of pace. Chronic says, yeah, you're rushing. All right, I'll just follow you back to the corner. Take the ball back to our half where we can approach now on offense. And as the last 60 minutes start to wind down achieves this is the time for version one where you need beast mode to step up you need his mechanics to be shown on full display as we've seen so many times from him he can just do some absolutely insane and impressive things Ooh. as chronic gets the double to go inside and tuck it inside the post gen g up one late on match point oh unfortunate bounce like beast mode went for that challenge and he wasn't positioned particularly poorly, but he lost the race. And unfortunately, that ball ricocheted off his nose, and it came hard off the backboard. And Chronic just kept the pace of that ball, smashing it as hard as he could towards the backboard. And a perfect follow-up into the top left. Again, the late go-ahead goal for Gen G. Version 1 trying his best to keep everything together. Oh and Beast Mode is going to bail him out, keep him within one. Com's going to get punted away from the ball and version one in shambles as they have only 10 seconds to get it together. Ali and Beast Mode get in a headlock in the corner when you need to Ooh. score. And if version they one. are down a man when they need a touch, everyone's gonna be looking at that with question marks. And they do oh. indeed separate. Torment. Torment, one on one, huge bounce. Beast Mode is really trying to size it up and Nolly will just take it away himself. If you're not gonna hit it, we will. And Gen G close it out in clean fashion five games oh my putting on an absolute clinic here in this series game one a slow start maybe it was nerves may i don't know what but i look at him he's repping his team <laughs> gen g mobile one putting themselves into the semifinals in the first regional i mean i was excited when this roster got announced and I thought, OK, it might take them a regional, maybe two to really get going. But the fact that they're doing this the first weekend, putting themselves in the championship Sunday, absolutely impressive. Yeah, big wins off of uh, top teams for sure. Add another one to the list. Version one was a team that a lot of people in North America are like, yeah, they're pretty good. And, you know, they spent all of the 21, 22 season proving that. And they had some expectations coming in here, but took them all five rounds to qualify yesterday. Yeah. Now they get bounced out in the quarterfinals here on Saturday. Gen G going to make the semifinals. We'll see them tomorrow. But we come back, we'll continue with day two of the RLCS Fall Open for the 22-23 season. It'll be Space Station Gaming and Optic Gaming. Stay with us. We'll see you in a sec.